So the Yankees take the first game of this four game set and the way the Yankees are beaten up right now the games that they win you almost have to be more impressed than you normally would even the two games they took against the Orioles this is a team that's unlike the team that got off to that great start John yeah I guess we're going to find out a lot about this team during this little stretch here and we talked so much about this first game of this series being so important and what Nestor Cortez did tonight setting the tone and you think about the Yankees offensively they put seven runs up on the board I didn't feel like they swung the bats great tonight they took advantage of some sloppy defense by the Rays but this is one of those times that as a team you're going to find out what's the guy next to me going to be able to do is he going to be able to step up his game until we get our big boys back you know about two weeks ago you start to look at the schedule and you get excited uh, about this series you go wow this is a great litmus test and that's what Kevin Kiermaier uh, the center fielder for the race said you know we're going to see exactly where we are and now it doesn't turn into that uh, for the Yankees John it almost seems it's like a survivor series how many can we take out of four when we have most of our big guys down yeah you create a mentality as a team as an organization and one of the things that you learn very quickly when you play for the Yankees that everybody gives you your best shot every night they they want to beat up on the Yankees they're not going to feel sorry for the Yankees so you develop an attitude in that clubhouse we're going to find a way I don't know who it's going to be tonight it might be one of our bench guys it might be a guy like Matt Carpenter who we just signed uh, but you're going to find a way to get a W that night it just creates that type of atmosphere now making it easier today is a guy named Nestor Cortez no surprise any longer he's been doing this since the beginning of last year he is establishing himself as one of the best starters in baseball now you can't say he's the ace of the Yankees because that's Garrett Cole but he carries almost an ace feel about him because every time he goes out Yankees think they're going to win yeah and I admitted this you're, you're kind of waiting for a clunker from this guy because even aces even Garrett Cole they're going to go out there sometimes and just not have anything and it's going to be a rough night I thought tonight Nestor the first couple of innings didn't look great a lot of really good swings by the Rays and he made some adjustments along the way with his catcher behind the plate. Also, Trevino got ahead a whole lot better the last five, six innings. So, uh, Nestor Cortez, just every time he goes out there, we're expecting him to dominate, and he's not letting us down. And the Yankee rotation, let's be honest, they have dominated from yeah. the very beginning of the season. All five of them, every time they go out, you think something good is going to happen, and it has been happening. So, despite the lineup being hurt by injuries, despite the bullpen yeah. being completely chains now because of injuries you still depend on those five starters and you know what they, they usually live up to what you expect yeah and I, I guess we just keep our fingers crossed right that that they're going to stay healthy because they're really setting the tone for this Yankee team and I mentioned in the key a key to the games that I, they're going to set the tone in this series against the Rays and obviously Nestor did not disappoint with that tonight all right three more games against the Rays next one is tomorrow Bob